Thinking back on how I developed my approach to soloing on the guitar neck, I can pinpoint one simple lick that helped me see the fretboard a little more clearly. The guitar lick itself is derived from what is probably the most famous scale on guitar. And it's something that I think just about anyone can play. And it sounds like this. As you can hear, this is really just a pentatonic scale. In fact, it's an E minor pentatonic scale beginning from the third degree G. You'll hear this kind of pentatonic derived lick in a lot of different types of music that feature the electric guitar. For example, I think the first time I heard something close to this was probably in the guitar solo from Shining Star by Earth, Wind and Fire. I can also recall instances of Denny Diaz of Steely Dan playing this in various solos of his. I can also think of, in an improvisational context, both Pat Metheny and also Mike Stern using a pentatonic derived idea like this as well. When you're using this pentatonic derived approach in a solo, you can simplify it a bit by turning it into a 1, 2, 3, 5 pattern, which you would hear commonly throughout a lot of improvised music. That pattern would sound a bit like this. Subsequently, if we took this 1, 2, 3, 5 pattern and turned it into its own pentatonic derived lick, it would sound a bit like this. In fact, you would have heard me using elements of this 1, 2, 3, 5 pattern approach in the opening solo of this video. In case you missed it, go back and listen to it. I also use this pattern in a number of the examples that you'll find throughout my guitar masterclass, how to solo with the pentatonic scale, which you'll find at bensguitarclub.com. Now you may well be asking, why was this such an important guitar lick for you to learn? On the guitar neck, we can so often get stuck in certain boxes or positions on the neck. And this particular lick was the first thing that broke me out of that. I was able to efficiently play a pentatonic scale over a three octave range without getting stuck in a position. Let's go through each one of those three octaves. Try it yourself and see how many different chords you can apply this basic pentatonic derived idea to. I hope you enjoyed this short lesson today. Make sure to check out my full guitar masterclasses at bensguitarclub.com. And while you're at it, make sure to hit subscribe down below, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you feel like it, consider supporting my channel as a member. I'll see you next time. <laughs>